hi guys, Kevin here, and welcome back to my card builds leading all the way up to Christmas. We're on to number 14. It is the 14th of December. Um, there will be a video coming out in the coming days about the giveaway. Um, the two winners have been contacted, so if you haven't been contacted, I do apologise, um, but it was all fun. Um, thank you for everyone that uh, participated in the giveaway, and yeah, all fun. So hopefully I should be doing some more giveaways in the future. Uh, but onto the actual episode, um, if you want to leave a comment below of what car you want to see next episode, uh, it can be any car um, you want basically, put a theme with it if you want it to be um, a certain colour or a certain design or a certain if you want it to be slammed etc. So do that and I will check those out and the most thumbed up vi uh, comment would be the one I choose. So if you go through the comments and you like one you see, uh, just press press the like button and yeah, you'll get that going. So. On to this now, um, the top rated comment from the last video was a Nissan GTR R35, um, very nice car, I uh, haven't really drifted one on this game yet so it's going to be it's gonna be a little bit of an experiment but pretty nice, so a Nissan GTR R35, there's no theme with it so I'm just going to make this as I normally make my cars, uh, kind of just clean with a nice kind of, with nice rims that kind of suit, uh, suit the car so yeah let's grab the car. Okay, so here's the car, uh, Nissan GTR Black Edition. Um, I might change the colour of it to be fair. Um, obviously the black looks very nice, but it'd be nice to have a different different coloured car here. Let's see what designs there are actually. That looks very nice, I like the, the red featuring on that. Um, that one looks better because it's got the little logo on the right, uh, on the side as well. Um, that, that was the design I was going to do anyway, so I think the white one is going to be the one. Uh, so yeah, let's go back and grab the the white the white. Where is it? Here, <laughs> got it, nailed it. So we got that. Uh, it's got carbon fiber wheels. A little bit different. Um, yeah, a little bit interesting. Nice little paint on here. Uh, make this car look pretty clean and very nice. So hopefully it starts saving the game um, a little bit quicker. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thanks for the support on these car builds. Um, it's been fun doing them every single day. Um, obviously, after after Christmas, I don't think I'll be able to keep up the fact that I'm doing it every single day. Um, after Christmas, I might have to go down to like every other day or every three days, etc., like that, uh, because this is it does um, waste a lot of time. And I want to get out other videos as well uh, because my computer is not the fastest renderer. So once I make one video in a day, it takes about one hour to two hours to render it so there's not really much time to um, make other videos because I want to get other content onto my channel as well so yeah let's put the real drive uh, drivetrain swap as we need to um, so that's on uh, there's not many body kits we're not going to do the race body kit I really like that spoiler though Obviously it's race and it's going to give us some more downfalls, but I really like it. I'm doing it. Race wing. Race wing for the win. Race wing for the win. That was a little bit special. Um, tire compound. We're going to go stock tire compound. Um, this car is weighing a lot. 1,600 kilos. Okay. So let's go 275s on the front. And on the rear, we are going to go... 305s, that's fine. Sick! So that's the tyres there. Um, I'm going to choose some rims. TE37s. TE37s on this car. They're just going to look amazing. Alright. There they are. So let's put them on. Slap them on. Yeah. So the TE37s on there. Um, let's up the rim size as well. Up to 21s. 21s, yeah. 21, 21. And the rear is the same. Okay, so we've got some nice rim size in there as well. Um, drivetrain. What can we do in the drivetrain? Everything race, as usual. Everything in the drivetrain is always race. We want to be able to adjust those gears. Uh, we want to adjust every, uh, the differential as well. So we want to put everything race. Um, this tune will be going up on the storefront at the end of the episode. So if you don't want to go through these, you can just download. Um, 
the tune of the storefront where it saves going through these yourself but if you want to do this and uh, you can adjust the tune more to your needs so that's that uh, race suspension on there I didn't realize this car weighed this much 1600 kilos that's mad um, so don't know what power to put into this um, I think around around the 600 mark should be fine I don't don't really want to go over that mark to be fair um, so let's do race weight reduction and that has took it down to 1300 okay 1300 isn't too bad now actually so let's just put um, air filter and exhaust that should take it up to a nice horsepower uh, just get a little bit more sound in the game everyone loves the sound so 570 horsepower in this car I'm gonna put the race flywheel on as well just to lose that extra tiny tiny weeny bit of weight and I think that should be all right in terms of power um, obviously it's got a twin turbo stock um, if we put that on it goes up oh my god that's a big gain 257 horsepower what uh, so let's not do that let's come out of this and start tuning this car uh, I think it's gonna be fine with this power uh, as soon as it's dropped down to 1300 kilos um, this power is gonna be absolutely fine okay let's get back into free room and it's already raining for fuck's sake okay okay let me go to the industrial area as soon as we was drifting around um we was drifting around nice last episode so let's go let's go to the, the, the industrial area i'm trying to switch up the two places these are my two faces uh, faces my <laughs> two um favorite places to drift so i'm going to switch between these two um and it's a good place to tune as well seeing as there isn't much traffic around etc um it's a lot easier so yeah, this GTR is sounding absolutely amazing. Don't know why I was so hard on the brake then, but you know, you yeah, know. All right, let's get this going now. Let's try and get this sideways. I haven't put a tune on yet. Okay, you can feel the weight so much in the wheel. Feels very powerful. Oh, okay. Feels very powerful. It feels really grippy as well. It feels pretty stiff, car. Uh, but I think I'm gonna have to stiffen it a little bit more because I'm feeling the weight in the wheel a bit too much. Wow, there's a lot of power in this car. Oh my god. Okay, so it's. <laughs> It's very fast. We've gathered that it's very fast. Um, the wing's not really affecting it, to be honest. So it was good chucking that on for the extra little bit of visuals. Um, so let's jump to the tune. Uh, I'm gonna leave the tire pressures where they are for now. Um, gearing seems fine. Alignment. Okay, we need a little bit more camber. Feels a tiny bit too grippy. So if we just put the camber on and see where we can go from there. Um, toe shelf be fine, caster up to 5.5 .5. okay let's just make this a tiny bit stiffer in the rear a little bit softer in the front okay it's pretty stiff to be fair um, as standard so let's take it to the stiffness just a tiny 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 bit and ride high all the way to the bottom that's that damping that is pretty stiff to start off with and the bump stiffness we're going to take down a tiny bit um, yeah there we go so braking and aero, I'm not going to touch those to be honest. Uh, differential, 100%, 100%. We want to lock your differential. Okay, so that's that. Let's apply that and let's try and throw this sideways now. Uh, come on, come on. So much power in this car. Okay, that felt very nice. Felt very nice with those snappy little transitions. So. Oh my god. I think it feels like we got too much grip, but I think that's mostly to do with the weight. 
And so what I'm going to actually do is take the tire pressures up. I don't normally take tire pressures up, uh, but we're going to do it. We're going to we're going to go into uncharted territory. <laughs> so up into the positives, even though they're already positives. But yeah, same thing. Um, so I'm going to take these up. Hopefully, I'll get my steering a little bit lighter, and that should be okay. Let's try that. Hopefully, it feels a little bit more, a little bit more sensible. This car's so fast, though. In a straight line, it's insane. I actually drove one of these at Silverstone. I had a, I had an experience thing where I drove a Nissan GTR around Silverstone. It's actually really, really, really good. Uh, so you're actually really surprised, uh, surprised, surprised at how fast this car actually is until you sit in one and drive it. <laughs> I pressed the pedal. I was like, "What? <laughs> what even happened?" Okay, so that felt okay. Um, I think the, I can start feeling the wing. To be honest, I don't know if there's too much downforce, um, but we're gonna leave it on. Um, just means we have to chuck it in with a little bit more force, but that's fine, you can get used to that. Wow, that felt sick! Oh, that's close. Wow. What a run that was. Well, I haven't actually made it yet, but... There we go. That was an amazing run. That felt so stable. I think in terms of weight, it is helping. Because um, obviously heavier cars are more stable. Um, that felt fine. That felt absolutely spot on. The gears are fine. Um, tire pressure seem okay. Uh, just having a look just, just to see. We could go up a tiny bit of camber in the front. Uh, but I think... I think it's feeling fine. What in the aero? Um, cornering or speed? If we go a tiny bit towards speed, that should give us less grip in the corners. Only a tiny bit towards the speed and see if that actually makes a difference or not. It should do. Love the sound of this car, man. Okay, that feels a lot looser in the rear now. Oh god, that was my fault. Yeah, that feels so much better. Oh my god. What a change that was. So I never normally put race wings on, so I've never really had to tune a car with a race wing before, so... I know that for the future, but... Put it towards speed, and you lose a little bit of grip, but... Drifting, you don't want too much grip. Obviously, you do want grip in drifting to try and get it stable, but. Oh god, no wall! Oh! I thought I was, I thought I was destined for the wall then. Oh wow, <laughs> this car! This could be one of the new best cars! Yeah, buddy! Thank you, Tom K, the guy who uh, suggested this car. You've hit me onto a gem here. Uh, I'm going to give it another run, just for the fact that I'm lo liking this car so much. <laughs> and I think there's going to be rain coming in. There hasn't actually been much rain in this episode, apart from when we first started. We teleported and it kind of disappeared, so... Here comes the rain. Let's get it running before the rain starts affecting us too much. Wow, this car feels very nice. Hope you guys check out this car because it feels very, very good. It's got a lot of, a lot of speed as well. Uh, so the rain's coming down pretty hard. And we're through the gap. Yeah, buddy. So yeah, very nice car this. Um, hope you guys do check it out. Um, it looks very clean as well. Uh, this is going to be one of my new best cars, so... Hope you guys do check this out. Um, I am going to upload it onto the storefront right now for you. You guys can just go on here and load a setup and you just search my gamer tag, which is Kevin Toll. Um, the same as my YouTube. So let's get this going. 
Uh, let me type in Drift. Drift or. Uh, there we go. Drift. And uh, that is now uploading. So I hope you guys do check out this car. It feels absolutely amazing. So stable. Uh, you can't. You can notice the weight, uh, especially on the wheel, because you can feel it in the steering wheel. But in terms of on the controller, I don't know if you'll actually feel the weight or not. Um, let's put it drift, and let's share that. So hope you guys do check that out. Uh, leave a comment below what you want to see next episode, and I'll see you guys next time.